Hi everyone, this is another quick uh, update actually uh, on the uh, twist drive uh, test device here. And by the way, if anybody is wondering how this is going to uh, w operate as a motor or whatever, it's, it's not. This device is not made to be a operational device. It's only to measure the effect of this uh, twist uh, drive uh, like I showed in the previous video. So what I've done now is I wanted to tweak the device because uh, I didn't, I wasn't uh, bringing my air gap to the smallest as I could because my box needed to be reinforced. So now I have the box reinforced because the box itself was starting to twist. I've got it bolted up underneath much stronger in this cap here to make sure that the pieces are not, uh, anyways, it's just reinforcement. And what I've done here as well on the uh, input chart is I've doubled the resolution of samples. So we were taking 16 samples, now we'll take 32 samples just to make it more accurate. Now another thing that was pointed out is um, uh, one individual, probably other individuals that are thinking about that, is the weight of this arm here. So the weight of the arm is, uh, they're saying I'm not taking that into consideration. Um, this one here at the input side is very minimal because it is um, a hollow aluminum tube. So all this is all aluminum. Uh, but what uh, they may be failing to understand is there's a weight of the arm that I'm taking here in consideration. So when I'm doing the engaging uh, torque measurement, that weight of the arm is put into the equation and basically when I take the disengaging uh, uh, samples the weight of the arm obviously whatever little weight it is helps it to fall faster but like I say uh, that weight is taken in consideration on the engaging side in this direction so that one is not an issue and uh, here though I would agree that there is a weight to this arm here and I'm going to take the device apart and we're going to weigh that and we're going to deduct that from the, uh, from the results. So uh, it's now uh, optimized like I said and uh, we'll uh, engage it and it is now engaged and uh, this was our previous result so we were obtaining um, 2.34 uh, average of foot-pounds uh, torque and these are the new results. I kept the input, uh, the output uh, chart at eight samples. So I've actually got it up to uh, three foot pounds. So we're actually getting an average of 3.12 uh, foot pounds on the uh, output shaft. And this is the uh, 32 uh, sample of resolution. And um, basically that's where I need to input more uh, here. Uh, because we're actually delivering more torque out there. Uh, so it's a 0.54 on uh, the engaging and then the disengaging um, it's a 0.58. So actually I, you can adjust it to get them pretty close uh, by positioning the timing. Uh, so basically uh, I've got uh, 1.1244 uh, foot-pounds to engage and disengage the device. So here we have 3.12 uh, and I divide that by 2 because it's half the distance of the uh, input uh, travel distance. So our output is truly uh, 1.5632 which we deduct what we uh, put into the device which is here uh, 1.1244 and interestingly enough we have pretty well identical uh, results. 0.4388 so I can get the device to output more uh, torque but it's ref you know it still stays uh, the same we still have e pretty well the exact same uh, over amount uh, that we had here because here we had an extra 0.44 pounds and um, so here we have a, an extra 0.4388 pounds so maybe just a little more resolutions and samples is giving us a little finer, more accurate data. Uh, but that is interesting to see that. 
We're really removing three foot pounds, but it's still staying within the same uh, percentage of uh, extra as our first test here. So that's good. It's good to see that you know you make changes, and you know you can see now how how tight my uh, air gap is between the two magnets. It's as tight as it can be. And I will show you the uh, torque here. I'll start up my uh, scale. And uh, I've got to use one hand here. Take that tape measure out there that holds it up. And let us attach the scale here. And uh, see what we get as far as torque. So there you go. 3.29. But that's probably because I pulled upwards, it's just showing a little more. When you pull upwards, instead of like starting from up here and then slowly taking your measurements like I did, uh, you know, it shows a little less than that. When you pull on it, it gives you more of a reading. So obviously you see there's three foot pounds there of torque. So now what I'm going to do is just uh, pause the camera and uh, I'm going to take this unit away. We're going to measure that arm and then we're going to be able to deduct that to get a really accurate reading. Because, you know, that's what you know, a building a device is about, is finding the exact uh, result. So, okay, so I've separated the uh, twist device <laughs> and put it away from this magnet here so there's no influence uh, of anything. So there it is on the uh, same uh, slab of aluminum. And now I'm going to just uh, take the uh, reading here. So hook in this here, scale. Wow, okay, 0.24 pounds. So there it is up, there it is live, giving you uh, what there is. So that's uh, what we, ha we can remove there uh, away. So it's about an average about exactly uh, 0.2 uh, pounds of weight. As it's up here, it's a little less. And it just goes at most uh, point, uh, 0 0.21, 0 0.22 uh, pounds. Okay, so that's what we all we need to do is deduct uh, that uh, well, actually, that 0.2 pounds, uh, we would um, divide by 2, so it would be 0.11. So instead of uh, being 0.43 uh, extra here, it would be uh, 0.32 uh, extra. So that's uh, the uh, difference uh, there that we can just uh, deduct. So we're still over. That doesn't uh, change uh, much on the uh, formula um, and here on the output one well <laughs> let's turn this off and reset the scale here uh, this is unmeasurable so let me hook that in there it's difficult doing this with one hand uh, and holding the camera um, problem here okay so let's reset that okay it's at zero let me pull on that the uh, weight of that is just so little that it is unmeasurable like I said that's very very light and like I said it doesn't matter see it just goes on its own it's it's minimal it just flies on its own so either direction it it just goes on its own. Okay, so no issue there. We've solved the uh, possible uh, small difference there, but yet the uh, device is definitely uh, showing a, uh, a uh, excess of uh, torque on the output. So thanks for watching. Bye now.